Hey, New Vision, Merry Christmas. Uh, I want to just take some time to talk about all that's going on this Christmas. I, I tell you what, Bob, I'm ready for Christmas. Are I'm you? ready to go. Ready it's, to go. It's 2020. We need a little Christmas, and there's a lot going on, and some things are a little bit different this year at New Vision. We're starting out with our sermon series, which we've entitled Wish List because, I don't know, here, here's the way I am. I'm just a little messed up. I, I just quickly start thinking about what I want for Christmas. To be honest, right before uh, we filmed this, uh, FedEx just delivered one of my gifts, and so I'm uh, there in my kitchen ripping it open, and uh, Amy's having to take it away from me, and I'm like a six-year-old. Uh, but that's kind of the way we think. What am I gonna get for Christmas? But this year, in our wish list series, we're gonna take a look at what God wishes for us. And so I think it's gonna be a great journey. I know I know, I need it as your pastor more than anything else. And the first I think we're gonna look at all weekend long is this bold faith. And so I'm super excited about, Bob, how you've jumped in and worked so hard with your team missionally to give us a really neat opportunity because faith is not mm -hmm. just believing something, but it's really living it out yeah. and doing that. So tell folks how we can get involved in emptying these Christmas trees behind us. Thank you so much, Brady. It is a great opportunity for us. You know, in missions, we talk about pray, give, and go, or in this case, in bold faith, we're talking about pray, give, and serve. Serving, giving, praying, all of that is a part about being missionally engaged in our community. So we're looking forward to that. There are on the Christmas trees here in the atrium uh, ornaments. Uh, they are on uh, cards, uh, red ones, green ones, silver or gold ones, uh, and they include the prayer opportunities, praying for ministries. I just picked one off here. Pray for the staff at the Rutherford County Correctional Center. Our prison ministry is engaged there. We have giving opportunities. Amelia's Closet, one of nine ministries that we support and sponsor here in our local uh, ministry uh, opportunities. And then also uh, a serving opportunity. And here's one, serve a season as the collections liaison for your small group. So small groups can be involved in giving and uh, participating in supporting ministries here locally. Yeah. One of the things that I just found out this morning, there are actually over 2,000 of these ornaments yeah. uh, on these trees. And so if you're just watching online, if you don't make it to campus, you can also be involved just by going to our website and you can get an ornament there. But here, here would be what we would love to see happen this Christmas. We'd love to empty these Christmas trees of all these ornaments. And, you know, I was looking over some of these. Uh, Bob, you said this really well. I love what you said. You know, we're going to take a Christmas Eve offering up for Endure Athletics. But these opportunities are kind of just like stocking stuffer yeah, opportunities. Yeah, as yeah. Well. Sometimes the stocking stuffers are, are really kind of fun. You know, yeah. you're looking, where, where did I get in the stocking? And, yeah. and so that's what these, these are in comparison to the, the larger gifts that we hope will uh, come in for Endure. Yeah. One of the things that I saw this morning I thought was really cool is just, you can just get a pair of boots for yeah, an inmate absolutely. who's coming out and trying to get their first job after they've been incarcerated, a pair of work boots where they can go and enter in to the workforce. So those are just kind of the opportunities, stocking stuff or opportunities that you and your family can be involved in. And not only will it make a difference in the life of all these people impacted, but I think it makes mm -hmm. a difference in our life absolutely. As, we're, as we're serving in this way. Hey, uh, let me say this. If you'd do me a favor, uh, I wanna go over our calendar for Christmas just really quickly. And if you'd go to newvisionlife.com forward slash Christmas, all this information is there. We're gonna, we're gonna put some stuff on the, on the screen, uh, but we're gonna do something on uh, December the 13th. Bob, we've never done this uh, before. We're gonna have an online concert. So here's what I love about Christmas music. There's a lot of it yeah. and just a little bit of time. And so uh, we're gonna have a night of some great music. Uh, Russ Lee has recorded uh, some music. Uh, Brad Ewing down in Louisiana, he's gonna give us a little Cajun That's Christmas. So great. Love it's it. Be really good. Eddie and Jessica Harrison, some of you guys remember them, but uh, they were out in Los Angeles area, so they're uh, recording uh, some music along with just all of our great musicians here at New Vision. And it is gonna be a great, great night just to celebrate some really good music. So just mark that on your calendar for the 13th. And I, I really believe it's gonna be something we're all as a church family gonna enjoy. You're just gonna be able to watch that. Everybody just watch that online. And then Christmas Eve, uh, Bob, this is my favorite service of the year. Everybody Absolutely. knows my inner Chevy Chase comes out and we're planning that service and looking forward to it. And it's not, not a service, it's multiple services. So we'll start on Christmas Eve at, at 12.30, 2, 3, 30, and then 5. And so we have four live services here at, at Battlefield, but also each one of those services will be online. And then we're going to have three extra online services all throughout the evening. The last service starts at 11 o'clock uh, live online on Christmas Eve. So for some of you, that'd just be kind of a, a neat time. Uh, you're you're up busy trying to get things ready for the next day and just have a chance to worship with us on Christmas Eve. And so we're looking forward to that. Also, I'd encourage you, there, there are some people and family and friends, relationships that you have that will watch that service 
that probably wouldn't watch any other time throughout the year. And you just never know the difference that that could make in their life. And so make sure you'll join us for our Christmas Eve experience. We're sure looking forward to having you. You know, lastly, I'd say this about Christmas. It's just such a unique time in, in all of our lives. And, and sometimes we have a little bit more sorrow around Christmas than normally it brings back some stuff. Make sure that you guys know that our biblical counselors, our encouragers here at the church stand ready to walk you through whatever you're going through this year at Christmas, or it's a strategic time to really take that next step. We're gonna have baptism on Christmas Eve. If, if you'd like to, uh, to be bapti baptized, to go public in your faith on Christmas Eve, uh, let us know. We're gonna be doing something with baby dedication uh, next week again. You can email Paige if you'd like to do that because that's really a special time around Christmas to dedicate your child uh, to the Lord. Take advantage of all that. It's gonna be a great, great season. I want you to join us and make sure that we empty these trees here for Christmas and just see how the ripple effects all over our community go as we share the hope and love of Christ this year at Christmas.